Today we're going to learn how to write equations based on our polar graphs. And it's really not that difficult. I just have to identify shape, symmetry, and a few key points for these. So we'll start with the limosones. And the nice thing about the limosones is I just have to identify that it's a limosome. It will, for each of these limosones, the way that we're going to write the equation is exactly the same. So just remember that our limousine equation is through r equals a plus or minus b cosine theta, or r equals a plus or minus b sine of theta. When we're looking at it, we will identify that it's a limousine. Now, all of these are limousines, the first being an inner loop, convex inner loop, we have a dimpled one, and then a cardioid at the bottom. First, we need to identify the symmetry. So this first one is symmetric about the polar axis. So I know it's going to have the cosine of theta because of that. The second thing we need to identify is we take the points that fall along the other axes, or the opposing one that, that it's not symmetric to, and we find their distance from the center. That is two units. That's going to be the value of A. And then we take the points that intersect the other or our axis of symmetry. We find their values here. We have one, two, three, and then we have seven. What we do is we take those points exactly as they are, three plus seven, and we average them. So we'll get 10 over 2 or 5. That's the value of B. And we have written the equation. Again, it doesn't matter the form. We'll do the same thing here. We're symmetric about theta equals pi over 2. So I know in this case, that's going to be a sine function. Here from the center, we are 5 units apart. That'll be the value of A. And then we'll record these two values. We have 7.5 and negative 2.5. 7.5 plus negative 2.5 divided by 2 is 5 over 2, or 2.5. So it'll be 5 plus 2.5 sine of theta. All right, here we're symmetric about theta equals pi over 2 again, so I know it's a sine function. We intersect the other axis one unit away, so our a value is 1. We've got a point at negative 2, a point at negative 4, negative 2 plus negative 4 over 2 is negative 6 over 2, or negative 3. So our B value will be negative 3. Equation done. All right, we're symmetric here about the polar axis. That means it's a cosine limousine. We are 1, 2, 3, 4 units away there. So that'll be the value of A. And then our dimples occur at the value of 1 and negative 7, so 1 plus negative 7 over 2 equals negative 6 over 2. Again, a negative 3 value, so 4 minus 3 cosine theta. And last but not least, we are symmetric about theta equals pi over 2, so that'll be a sine of theta function. We are 1.5 units away on the other axis from the center when we intersect with that axis, so that will be the value of A. Then we have our dimple at 0 and 3, 0 plus 3 over 2 equals 3 over 2, or 1.5, so we have plus 1.5 sine of theta. Now we knew for this one this was a cardioid with that 1 to 1 ratio, so A and B should have been be the same, but I just used the same format and found these equations. So you can see, not that bad at all. 